Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you part two of my Evil Dead 2 movie props. Um, the first video, if you saw that, was about a month ago. I got the Kandarian Dagger and the uh, Necronomicon. Now I've got the Boomstick and the Chainsaw, and I'll show you, as you can see in the thumbnail, but I'll show you some detail on these. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the Boomstick. I got these off of Etsy. Um, you can find them on there. People use 3D printers. Um, and this one, it's pretty light. I was expecting it to be a little heavier, but it, it basically feels like a toy gun. Um, but this is pretty cool. Uh, you can take this off if you want the orange tip. So this is what it's supposed to look like without that. But um, I'm not going to do like any sort of... I'm not really into like cosplay or anything, so I, I wouldn't do that. I just kind of wanted them for like decoration. Um, this thing, it doesn't have any effect, which is on a real gun. You'd uh, move this to either side and then the barrel would drop. It also comes with two shells you can pull out, which is cool. And uh, the triggers don't really work. So this one is a little bit more basic than the, the chainsaw, but it's still really cool. Um, you can, if you really wanted to do cosplay with this, but, uh, just, you know, I wouldn't just cause this barrel falls and it's really easy. Like I barely even move it and it does that. So I've just got it sitting under my TV stand. Um, but for the chainsaw, it's so big that I don't know where to put it. Uh, so I've got to find somewhere for that. And now the chainsaw has got a lot more detail. Um, so with this, as you can see, this is like really cool. Um, the amount of like detail on the, the actual blade itself, um, even like the, I don't know what you'd call it, the engine part of the chainsaw. Uh, I had to assemble the handle and the blade myself. Um, it's even got a grip and then I can stick my hand in it, which it's very big, the, the hole, like holding this all the time would, it's so loose on my arm. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'd want to hold this all the time, but yeah, it's cool that it's even got the handle down the the thing here, down the, the engine, I guess you'd call it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, some cool stuff that I got off of Etsy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy any more because these were very expensive between the two. I think they were almost five fifty or $600, somewhere in there. Um, the chainsaw was definitely worth it. Not that the boomstick wasn't, uh, but it just was a little bit different than I was expecting. But I do like it. Um, oh, and then one other thing. It even comes with, like, the, the handle here. You can... I don't think you can pull this. It seems like it's... Yeah, it's just, like, a feature. But, um, yeah, it's got the, even, like, the gas tanks, like, the knobs. But, yeah, this one's really cool. Um, I got to find somewhere to put it because it, it takes up a lot of space. And I thought it was going to be able to fit under my TV stand, and it doesn't. So I may have to get, like, a separate shelf for those things. So, yeah, this is just a short video. I wanted to show you uh, the, the chainsaw and the boomstick. Um, like I said, you could get these on Etsy or really anything like that. If that's your thing, you like to collect movie props, or um, you're into, like, cosplay or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm not going to do anything with them. They're more just display items, but uh, maybe like Halloween or something, I'd do something, but that's about it. Um, I am going to a horror convention coming up. I don't know if I'll do a video on that or not, but if I do uh, and I find something cool, maybe I'll, I'll do a video there. So I'll talk to you guys soon, and thanks for watching. Bye.